Defending Israel with Facts and Logic Why focusing on civilian casualties is morally wrong. In the Western world, particularly, the United States and Western European countries, we have learned the lessons of the previous century, rife with the conflict of two world wars which claimed many lives, civilian and military. Simultaneously, three generations have grown up in Western countries, largely in a degree of peace and security, never before enjoyed by so many. Conflicts, notably those against terror threats or despots like Saddam Hussein, were borne on the shoulders of a volunteer army, a small sliver of the total populace. Consequently, I believe that we in the West no longer understand what war really is. War is not a police action. War is not a counterinsurgency. War is not a pinpoint strike with a smart bomb and a taser and then it's over. War is a total breakdown of communication between two opposing forces that can only be resolved by the total destruction of one of the forces. What the West, Joe Biden and other Western leaders, do not understand is that Hamas is not merely an insurgency that can be dealt with by surgical police actions. Hamas is at war with Israel. Not over land. Not over liberation. Hamas has land, the Gaza Strip which has been governed by them, not occupied by anyone, but governed by Hamas for 18 years. So they have land and the Palestinians have the government they voted into power. The Palestinians didn't march in the streets for women's suffrage or freedom of speech. They didn't march for more land. These are the misconceptions of the West, mostly young liberals who mistakenly project their own worldview and experiences onto the people of Gaza. A people who have a strikingly different worldview from the liberals who evidently support them in the West. Hamas is at war against Israel, not for land or liberty or human rights. They are at war against Israel because Israel is a Jewish state. It is a religious war. But this takes us to the primary point of this syllogism, why the unrelenting focus of the West, to protect the civilians of Gaza, right now in the midst of a war, is, in fact, morally wrong. We in the West believe that all life must be cherished and even a single unintended casualty in war is a crime. But this is a naive view that defies the very concept of war. The focus of war is about achieving victory, whatever that aim may be. The US went to war in Iraq in the 1990s to achieve the aim of safeguarding Kuwait's oil reserves from being controlled by Saddam Hussein. There was never voiced by any individual or media outlet at that time, any concern whatsoever about the civilians of Iraq or Kuwait. Of course, the war was being fought mostly on a battlefield with distinct military targets. In Gaza, Hamas uses an intentional strategy of blending into and camouflaging themselves as civilians. Of course, this is a war crime, a violation of the principle of distinction in military conflict. Nevertheless, in no other war that I am familiar with, all world wars, Vietnam, Korea, both Iraq wars. And in every war in previous centuries, in no other war that I am familiar with, was the primary focus on the protection of civilians. Avoiding wars protects civilians. When Hamas breached the self-defense barrier and invaded Israel, attacking and kidnapping and far, far worse, did they stop to think that by doing so, they were endangering their own civilians. What share of the civilian deaths in Gaza is Hamas, who started the conflict, responsible for? I contend that Hamas is responsible for all of their civilian deaths. However, returning to the primary point again, no other war in history has had as its objective to protect civilians. War should have as its objective, the achieving of victory. Victory is the objective of war, not protecting civilians as Joe Biden foolishly believes or pretends. By focusing foolishly on civilians, Joe Biden slows down the war. Makes it harder for Israel to achieve victory and creates the conditions where ultimately more civilians may become casualties than if the conflict was concluded more quickly. Joe Biden and liberal Democrats prolong the agony that Hamas inflicted on the people of Gaza with their barbaric attack. Remember, Hamas still refuses to surrender. A refusal to surrender means Hamas is still at war, means they would repeat October 7th forever if given the slightest chance. The focus on civilian casualties stretches the war out, destabilizes Israel politically, and muddles the moral case against Hamas and for the war.
the morality of this war ought to be strikingly clear. The fact that Joe Biden cannot articulate it is a grave, historic failure of leadership. To help us and to help even the Palestinians, whose lives would be far, far, far more prosperous under a more tolerant secular government, Israel must focus on achieving victory, destroying Hamas and returning their captured innocent hostages, some of who are Americans and some of whom are babies. Biden's foolish, soft need focus on civilian casualties before victory is achieved, sets the world on a far more dangerous trajectory. A final note, I do not advocate for carpet bombing and mass slaughter. Israel is being as pinpoint as it can be, and occasional mistakes will happen in war zones. Proportionality means, if there are civilian casualties, there should be not a single civilian casualty that was not needed to achieve peace. As a secondary objective, this is very noble and moral. As a secondary objective. But the primary objective should always be victory if we believe our cause is just and moral. Do you believe defeating a terrorist army which wants to destroy all Jews then all Christians then all unbelievers everywhere is a moral duty of right-thinking people? For the future prosperity of human civilization, I do.